Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel Coffee Tea Paper. My name's Louise and as you've seen on the title today we're doing something a little bit different. One of my pen pals Helen who's part of the team behind Cheery Letters, a beautiful beautiful journaling supply store on Etsy based in the US they ran a little ink box card challenge a couple of weeks ago and I thought it would be a really fun quick and easy project to do when you don't have all that much time up your sleeve but you want to do something creative or maybe you're having a bit of a creative block and you don't know where to start and the thought of doing a whole page in your journal or a whole happy mail to a pen pal is just too much. So I am just walking you through my process here. There's a little card that uh, ink box card that I did up the top there and the principle behind it is that you trace around one of the Ranger stamp pads which are essentially a three by three inch uh, deal however you don't need to do that you can just measure three by three round the corners don't round the corners it doesn't really matter but essentially you're creating a mini collage or a mini art piece it doesn't have to be collage of course I'm going to collage because that's pretty much my favorite thing to do However, you kind of look at that and go, oh, well, that's great. And it might certainly get me out of a bit of a creative slump. Or it might be something that you enjoy swapping with a pen pal. You could do a theme and surprise each other. Anything along those lines. But if you're looking for something that is a more practical project or it has an application other than just being cute <laughs> is these would be really quick and fun ways to create little gift cards so you could actually fold it double and make it into a little gift card or don't just leave it right on the back uh, maybe punch a hole in the corner you can tie it on uh, because we're entering a really don't like to say it but we're entering that period in the lead up to when a lot of people give gifts <laughs> I, know, I know like for me I don't like thinking about it till maybe last week of November say <laughs> uh, it's not that I don't like Christmas I just get a bit overwhelmed by how long it goes for with all the commercial lead up and advertising and all of that for essentially what is one day and I feel that the message behind that day whether it's a, a Christian message or not uh, it's really just about having a special day where everyone or well, most people get the day off work and you get to spend it with people that you hopefully the people that you enjoy the company of and you might have a special meal or it's a good excuse to get in touch with people who maybe you only see once a year but uh, yeah sometimes I just feel it gets a bit over commercialized uh, yeah Anyway, I'll put that little rant aside. I do apologize if Christmas is your be all and end all. <laughs> However, of course, these don't have applications just at the major gift giving time. Uh, it would be just a nice thing to do whenever you're giving a gift, even if it's a bunch of flowers or a thank you note. Uh, my daughter's finishing up she's doing her last year of high school at the moment and uh, she's wanting to 
give her teachers, a lot of her teachers, just a thank you card. Thank you for making a difference uh, to her education and uh, so forth. Unfortunately, she hasn't had time <laughs> to, to make these and I haven't either. But that would be another nice thing to do is quick and easy little teacher thank you card. So in the meantime, while I've been having my little rant, <laughs> it was a very gentle rant, <laughs> I have been layering up. So I've started with a base layer of some interesting paper. I decided what I wanted to be the main kind of focal point. The one above it was the butterfly, the one below it's this beautiful sticker that Jesslyn Padilla sent me, uh, that was a couple of years ago now, she sent me a little postcard that was a double, uh, had a back and a front and she actually sewed a few things in between the two pieces of card and it was a series of these beautiful hand painted uh, and I suspect hand cut stickers but I'm not entirely sure. And I think this may be my last one because uh, I've been using them in a slow and careful fashion. Not, not hoarding. <laughs> Shh. And I've also just laid up here. So I've got those three things kind of cascading down the page or down the square top left, bottom right, a couple of washi stickers, a couple of paper label type things and I am sticking this little sticker over the top. You could finish it there if you are trying to just do a really, really quick project. I'm going to actually uh, add some stamping with uh, a Jessalyn Padilla stamp there and a journal pages stamp and I want to bring out those yellow waterly type flowers on the sticker. So I'm just going to add in some yellow splodgy dotty duvers. This one I've kept flat. The one up the top I actually put some foam thingies, foam raised foam stickers <laughs> behind the butterfly and so it looks like the butterfly is just sitting up off the page. Well, it doesn't just look like it. The, but the butterfly is sitting up off the page. Uh, so if you are looking for a little creative project with or without a uh, goal in mind for it afterwards, uh, yeah, just give it a go. Uh, you could do a long one. So you could actually do this measurements as like a three by six and no, not a three by six. What's half of three? A one and a half by six and you would have a bookmark. Do a hole at the top, put a bit of ribbon in it, something like that. You could create a long gift tag. Uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes we look at these things and you go, yeah, that's all very nice, but what's it for? <laughs> what is its purpose? What is its raison d'etre? To get very philosophical. and uh, But there is always a use for something. And if you are having a bit of a creative block, yeah, just give it a go and put it with your stash of wrapping paper. Uh, and you can punch a hole in a corner, tie it onto a gift and... Or if you need to produce something in a hurry, a bunch of flowers, something like that. Same sort of thing. Punch a hole in the corner, write something on the back and away you go. So you've had a creative opportunity for yourself and then something that you can have on standby uh, to be useful. You could also turn it into a pocket in your journal. Just glue down two sides. And then you have a little tuck spot. Uh, yeah, all sorts of things. Here I'm going to show you how I make another one. It's another autumn themed one because that was actually the theme of the challenge that Helen 
ran and uh, this was the one that I made to enter in the, the, um, the competition. Sadly, I didn't win, <laughs> but that was okay because as you can see, I ended up making a few of them. On this one, I am using a few different things. So I might actually just pop on some music because the doggos in the street are getting excited. The mailman must be coming down the street. <laughs> and I'll leave you just to observe the process. And of course, any questions, just pop them in the box below. But thank you so much for being here. I love, I love uh, your messages and comments and uh, always enjoy hearing from all my wonderful subscribers. I don't really think of you as subscribers. I think of you as a a little community of fellow paper lovers, journal enthusiasts, etc.
Woof woof. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, let me know which of the three little ink box cards are your favorite. And have you done anything like this before? Okay. See you later. Bye.